Hello, my dear friends. Today we are going to discuss about an author who is renowned not only in India but in the entire world as well. His name is none other than Kushwan Singh. It is our privilege to have him as our writer, Indian writer. Okay, so let's begin with his work. Before that, let's discuss about his details. He was born on 2nd February 1915. Remember this date because it has come in one of the examination okay next is the time when he was born india was not divided therefore the place which uh, in which he was born it is right now in pakistan okay before the partition it was in india it was a solid nation okay so after the partition it has gone to pakistan right now he died recently on 20th march 2014 in New Delhi, India. He is a lawyer, a journalist, a diplomat, a writer and politician by profession. From 1980 to 1986, Singh was a member of Sabha, the upper house of the Indian parliament. Next, he was awarded the Padma Bhushan in 1974 for service to his country. But he returned the award in protest against the seize of Golden Temple by Indian Army. In 2007, the Indian government awarded Kushwan Singh the Padma Bhushan. Friends, you should remember these awards because all these points which I have mentioned here have come in previous examination. Okay, When did he receive Padma Bhushan? Why did he return it? Okay, Which all awards were given to Kushwan Singh? We will come to that. Let's know more about the author. Singh was self-proclaimed agnostic as the title of his 2011 book Agnostic Kushwant. There is no God explicitly revealed. Now here we need to understand that Kushwant Singh was an atheist and uh, he never believed in any form of God but he believed in deeds. Okay? He was particularly against organized religion. He was evidently inclined towards atheism as he said. This also you should remember, friends, who said this? It has come in one of the examination. One can be a saintly person without believing in God and a detestable villain believing in him. And we find he was very true in that. Only believing in God and going to temple is not going to define any person. That is my personal view. Next we find he would worked for nine years in the Illustrated Weekly. This shows his caliber. Okay. In, in 20th June 2016, Kushwan Singh enters Limka Book of Records as tribute. He was the longest writer, longest tenure writer, and because of his numerous books, he was in Limka Book of Records. This is like Guinness Book of World Record, but from India. The, the record makers are from India. Okay. Now let us talk about honors and awards. There is a huge list, and please pay attention out here, friends. Rockefeller Grant, he received in 1966. Padma Bhushan, received from Government of India in the year 1974. But he returned it, protesting against the Union Government seize of the Golden Temple, Amritsar. Honest Man of the Year, Sulab International, he received from Sulab International. Punjab Ratan Award, the Government of Punjab in the year 2006. Next, Padma Bhushan, from Indian Government in the year 2007. Sahitya Academy, Fellowship by Sahitya Academy of India in the year 2010. All India Minorities Forum Annual Fellowship Award by Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav. He received this in the year 2012. Lifetime Achievement Award by Tata Literature Live, the Mumbai Lit Fest in the year 2013. This has come in one of the year. So please mark it, everyone. Fellow of King's College London in January 2014. This is another award that he received. Friends, there is a long list of literary contribution of Kushwan Singh, but we cannot escape any. It is because each and every work of Kushwan Singh are very important for a literature student. Okay, so without wasting time, let us go through it one by one. In the year 2003, a book was published. Its name was The End of India, Burial at the Sea, 2004. Paradise and Other Stories, 2004, again, Death 
at my doorstep 2005 a history of the six 2005 the illustrated history of the six 2006 why i supported the emergency essays emergency essays and profiles 2009 the fallen kingdom of punjab 1962 ranjit singh the maharaja of the punjab 1962 again gadar 1915 india's first armed revolution a history of the six 1966, A Bride for the Sahib and Other Stories, 1967, Black Jasmine, 1971, Delhi, A Novel, 1990, Sex, Scotch and Scholarship, Selected Writings, 1992, Not a Nice Man to Know, The Best of Krishwan Singh, 1993, We Indians, 1993, Women and Men in My Life, 1995, Uncertain, License, Sex, Strife and Togetherness in Urban India, 1995, Train to Pakistan. This is extremely important, friends. Please mark it in your diary. This was published in the year 1998. The Company of Women. This talks about a modern lifestyle of uh, urban people, okay, which was published in the year 1999. A History of the Six. 1999. Truth, Love and a Little Malice. An Autobiography of Krishwan Singh. 2002. Let us talk about extremely important works of Krishwan Singh based on examination. Okay, we will start with novel Delhi. Here, Krishwan Singh's, this is regarded as Krishwan Singh's, this is regarded as Krishwan Singh's monumental work, Delhi. Here, he talks not only about his life in Delhi, but he talks about our history as well. This can also be called a historical novel, okay? A novel is, in the sense of the passage above, a novel about ghosts. Here he talks about the people who died in Delhi because of different reasons. Okay. Some were killed. Maximum were killed because attackers wanted to capture capital of India, that is Delhi. So excessive massacre was occurred in Delhi itself. It is a novel about it is a novel about all the blood that has been shed in the triangular region of North India, North Indian plain demarcated by the ridge in the west and south and the river in the east. It is a lament for an endless sequence of murders of brothers by brothers and for betrayal of lovers and fathers. It is a celebration of the seasons and the trees and the flowers and of the life led in this city by the river through the generations. It is an old man's admonitions to the young, a free spirit's up yours to blinkered Puritan and a writer's querulous and occasionally exuberant attempt to speak truth not just to power to the time when the book was written but to power across time. And this was the speciality of Krishwan Singh. He was so outspoken in his writing, nobody could stop his pen. Truth, Love and a Little Malice, published in the year 2002. It is an autobiography of Krishwan Singh, a famous writer, journalist, columnist, who is also a qualified barrister from King's College, London, apart from tracing his story and immediate life history it deals in depth with his relation with political dignitaries it is an autobiography where he talks about himself and his association with political dignitaries the name of the book itself was derived from a famous column that he wrote for the newspaper hindustan times and that was syndicated in several newspapers with the title, With Malice Towards One and All. Here, friends, we find few more details. Some exclusive excerpts, some exclusive excerpts of the book detailing the relationship between the ex-Prime Minister Indira Gandhi and her daughter-in-law Manika Gandhi were published in India today to generate publicity before publication of this particular book. But there was a problem created by Manika Gandhi. What was that? Let us find out. The publication of the book was held up for more than five years after Manika Gandhi filed case against the release 
of the book. Next important work is Train to Pakistan. This was written, this was published in the year 1956. Train to Pakistan is a historical novel by Khushwan Singh, of course. It recounts the partition of Bengal. You might get question on this. What is the theme of Train to Pakistan? You must write Pakistan partition to India in August 1947 through the perspective of Mano Majra, okay? A fictional border village. Don't forget this name, Mano Majra. The situation with Mano Majra had witnessed is described in the novel. Instead of depicting the partition in terms of only political events surrounding it, Singh digs into a deep local focus, providing a human dimension which brings to the event a sense of reality, horror and believability. A History of the Six, which was published in the year 1966. Let's find out what is the core message of the story. The History of Six widely regarded as a veritable compilation of Kushwan Singh's A History of the Six, 1969 to 1839, Volume 1, which is based on precise and meticulous research of original documents in Gurmukhi, Persian and English, which tell the story of Sikh faith, written in Kushwan Singh's trademark style, to be accessible, to be a genuine, non-scholarly audience, the book is based on scholarly archival research. Truth, Love and a Little Malice, 2002. The Sunset Club, 2010. The Sunset Club, the book throws light on the loneliness and problems Faced by the elderly, the three main characters in the book are Pandit Pritam Sharma, Sardar Buta Singh and Nawab Barkatullah Beg. The trio have been a part of Sunset Club and friends for more than four decades. They are now above 80 years of age and gather at the Sunset Hour in Lodi Gardens, discussing a number of controversial topics. This book reminisces nature and gives insight on the problems and the intricacies faced in India. The Good, the Bad and the Ridiculous, 2013. This was his last book, The Good, the Bad and the Ridiculous with Humra Qureshi, 2013. In the course of almost a century of living, Kushwan Singh had has been witnessing witness to making of more public and private histories than most of us have read about. The collection brings together the best, the very best of these pen portraits, some of which have never before appeared in a book. Among those Profiled and profiled among those profiled are Jawaharlal Nehru, Krishna Menon, Indira Gandhi, Sanjay Gandhi, Amrita Shergill, Begum Para, Muhammad Ali Jina, M. S. Golwalkar, Mother Teresa, Fiyaz Ahmed Fiyaz, Dhirendra Brahmachari, Jirnayal Singh. Bhindrawale, General Tika Khan, Fulan Devi, Jiani Jail Singh, and Bhagat Puran Singh. This was his last book. In the year 2013, it was published, and next year, 2014, he started his journey for final abode. Thank you, friends, for your precious time. We will meet in our next video. Tomorrow at 7.30, please set alarm in your mobile phones. Thank you.